Same corner, same time. It's Stady Miguel. We got some big news out of Gainesville again. What's up, Dan? What's up, Silk? This is going to everyday occurrence these days. Man, another day, another commit. You know how it go, man. Billy in his bag. Billy's in his bag. Uh, this time, three-star defensive back. Teddy Foster out of Cardinal Mooney High School in Sarasota, Florida. Silk, I'm not in the recruiting bag all that much recently, but uh, new yeah, this one yeah. has been, been coming for a little while now. You use ahead of your time with this one. Got to give you your flowers. Soon the name Teddy Foster popped up on the radar. Uh, you knew you had a relationship there, and you kind of uh, fostered this thing all the way through from offer to now commit. Uh, we got a good one, man. Guy out of Sarasota, Florida, uh, fairly new to football. He mm -hmm. started playing football seriously as a sophomore in high school, uh, a big-time baseball guy before now. But if you're watching on the visuals on YouTube right now, you can see the athleticism. Uh, can play off ball, on ball, press, uh, a lot of athleticism. Uh, one of the few guys um, don't that that from the skill positions that Napier has taken without uh, verified speed. Um, mm -hmm. So that's that was that's what I found interesting. He did have to work out for an offer. Corey Raymond loved this film, mm -hmm. um, but a guy that was low on the radar and and got some Miami offers and and it came down to North Carolina as well. Those his final three. Mm -hmm. um, but overall, I think a, a really good get. Uh, Dan, get your opinion off. I got some more takes, but I want yeah, to some space no, to get your energy. Like, in. like you said, Silk, uh, and a guy that really got serious about football a couple of years ago, a, a guy that I think is going to be a, a riser in the ranks. You know, I know a lot of people are comparing him to Jakeem Jackson, uh, a guy that wasn't as highly rated, finishes, I, I think, last year as the number two defensive back in the state of Florida. Don't know if he gets quite that high. Uh, he is a, a long sprint or a, a long runner. He's got a, a long stride. Uh, he's not going to be the fastest guy uh, on the team or in the backfield. I, I think that they uh, expect him to be a boundary corner uh, at UF. But, uh, you know, he's got that size that they want. He's six foot one, 170 pounds, or six foot two, pardon me, 170 pounds, uh, a guy that's still getting better and better. And, you know, so this goes back to those kids that have the opportunity to to really prove themselves in front of coaching staffs. Uh, he was getting offers from from some decent schools, you know, your, your Purdue's, Illinois, Duke, et cetera. Uh, he went out and, and earned himself an offer at, at Florida, Miami, North Carolina, Alabama was in touch with him. There was a lot of schools USC that were. USC West. Yeah, was USC West that. was in touch with him. Uh, there was a lot of schools that were after him. Um, and then just in the last couple of months, I mean, he just got his first offer. Or he got, pardon me, he got his offer from UF on May 23rd. So just, you know, seven, eight weeks ago. Um, you know, a guy that it, has connections to the University of Florida, uh, wanted to play in-state if that opportunity came up surprisingly enough, Miami third ranked school uh, out of that top three was really between UNC and Florida and Corey Raymond, the opportunity to play for UF uh, won out, but a guy that I think, you know, right now is a three-star uh, ranked, I think in the seven hundreds right now, if you look at the composites, I, I think he finishes in the top 300 by the end of the year. Yeah. I like that take. Um, it's going to be interesting to see if he gets the opportunity to play at an all-star game or he gets one of those late offers for something like that. Um, and to get a chance to showcase his abilities on, on a higher level right before they fit, do the final rankings. Uh, but uh, if you look at the film here on, on the huddle, great athleticism for a guy that just started playing football a couple years ago or a year ago. Uh, a lot of great instincts, football instincts, man. Just a really good athlete. Like, he understands his own concepts. Mm -hmm. uh, even in, you can see from the man, now, in this clip he's playing, man, uh, great at press, but he'll peel off into other coverages if, mm -hmm. if the ball – uh, is not going to the guy, you know, um, that he's covering. But I think some great football instincts. He could play star or safety as well. Mm -hmm. I know they want him at boundary, but I think he has a lot of athleticism to play around uh, different spots in the secondary. Yeah, you'll you'll see quick hips on him. Uh, reacts to the ball really well. I mean, that could be the the baseball piece, right? You know, he was a very good baseball player before he made the move over to football. Great hips, great eyes, uh, great ability to react to where the ball goes. I, you know, I think that Florida's getting a, a gem here. Uh, I think that he's a guy that not just Physical. because he committed to the University of Florida, but I think that this is a guy that you know over the next year is going to be a guy that is really on a lot of people's radars uh, as one of the better cornerbacks in the state of Florida. Yeah, Corey Raymond is not a star chaser. There's some guys like Wardell Mack that's uh, on our um, board right now that some people think we should be, that, that he should be coveted higher. If you're just looking at the ranking, uh, the average you know casual fan will probably think the same thing. But Corey Raymond is a guy that's going to get the absolute body type he wants. 
and a lot of the uh, instincts and characteristics of the DBs he's coached in the past is what he's looking for. So mm-hmm. um, he's not a star chaser. I love this mm-hmm. kid's film. Um, I want to. I want us to win. Like now that we got um, uh, Teddy into into the fold, I think we need to close on Zay Mintz. We've been leading with him for a while. That's a big battle. Us uh, two of our DBs that's committed were in top matchups on the recruiting trail. I would say. Mm-hmm. Not mad at that, you know, um, because I know, like I said, he's not chasing stars. He's chasing a certain player. But when we do line up against people like Bama uh, for a guy that's in state, I want to see us win. We lost uh, the Grimsley battle with Bama, Mm -hmm. which was a DB. We can't lose two DB battles to two Florida kids this cycle. So I need Corey Raymond to pull up and get uh, Zay Mincy to solidify this back end of this uh, good defensive haul we're getting. Yeah, uh, fantastic defense fall. Probably one of the best that Florida's had since then Will Muschamp, I guess, uh, when it comes to defense. Um, you know, I think the Florida sits good for for Zay Mincy. Uh, you know, they're still in the game for Jamari Howard. Uh, again, kind of a weird right. recruitment with Jamari Howard. Uh, you know, visited a bunch of times and decommitted from Michigan State. Doesn't seem like he's super eager to uh, to make a commitment announcement anytime So still flirting with Michigan State, looking at Florida State, uh, looking at Florida. I think that Florida is going to probably look to bring in, what, two more defensive backs, Silk, you think? Uh, Zay Mincy, yeah, maybe so. Jamari Howard. Yeah, I believe so. I think that's the uh, – we took a big class last cycle. Right. right so yeah, right now they guys. have Josiah Davis uh, as a defensive back. Um you know, in that group, you know, again, a guy that that Florida didn't have a, a lot of competition for. You know, Florida's really high on him, ranked as a three-star. This would be the second uh, out of that group. And then, obviously, you have uh, Xavier Filosame out of, of Texas, who's, you know, the number two safety in the country right now. So those three uh, are gr- good, solidified group, and you get that fourth uh, to add to that. And, you know, right now Florida's going to have 20 commitments. They're going to be ranked number three uh, in the country for recruiting potentially another commitment uh, coming next week. And then I think Florida is going to try to grab that one last uh, defensive back and then shift to the offensive side of the ball a little bit. Yeah, let's close, man. Big barbecue on the way as well. Um, Get a nice close to this very good recruiting season and all season head into the fall with some positive vibes, man. But we'll see how the barbecue go. Grill in the Ville coming up very soon. Grill in the Ville, uh, July 29th. So we will see at the same corner, same time on Monday morning, and then we'll see you the next time. Teddy Foster, welcome to the Ville, baby. Welcome, Gators. We'll see you guys soon.